Hello everybody. Um, yeah, the field is kind of flooded. It's been raining really bad. <laughs> I need something to drink because I was supposed to go grocery shopping today, but Justin apparently was too tired after work. So he's asleep at home. Well, his home. So I'm thirsty. I want some tea. I gotta walk over to Walmart to see if they have any. <laughs> and then I have to figure out what I can eat. Because I don't want to cook right now. Oh, that was wet. Oh, that was nasty. <laughs> okay, so if I go around that way. Okay. I'm trying to figure my way around. Because the field's not completely flooded like it usually is. It's just partially flooded. So. Oh, and my tennis shoes have mesh on the tops of them. So it's really easy for water to get in. So it's not very pleasant. <sighs> All right. We have made it through the worst part of the flooded field. Yeah. Which is the center. Because it has this really big dip. Well, it's not big, but for water, it's big. Yay. Now it's just little puddles, but my feet are still wet. Oh, and they don't feel very good. Oh, that was cold. Oh, no. <sighs> oh, great. Here's a big puddle. Okay, let me see if I can go around the side and not fall. I have my umbrella because it's... Oh! 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 Foot full of water! Oh my gosh! Oh, that feels so... Oh, that's not okay. That is not okay. I don't even care that my jeans are wet. My foot is soaking wet now. Oh, that's not okay. Oh! 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 Hmm! Y'all are gonna probably laugh that your butt's off when y'all watch this. Oh, there goes the other foot. Oh, man. Oh, that is not okay. Oh, now I'm gonna have a waterlogged foot. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I am over at Walmart and I don't want my phone to get any more wet than it already is, so I will catch y'all in a minute. Whoop. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> I made it home before it started raining, like literally five minutes before it started raining again. Um, both my shoes were completely drenched. And I mean like swamp foot type drenched. Um, I'm sorry. I, I was hungry. I needed something. So I made some cinnamon toast. Or as I used to say, Cimarron toast. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I'm like full I had like a few pieces of bread left that I had to eat because I don't really eat um, sliced bread from the store very often like maybe once or twice a year maybe so I had to cook it and get it out of the house <laughs> oh, I'm thinking about taking a nap because I don't know if I'm going to be going to the grocery store today because Justin just went home and went to bed instead of coming here. Which I can understand. He was probably tired after um, his shift at work. So. Oh, whatever. <laughs> he might wake up early enough to go this little rinky-dink H-E-B just to get a few things. But I don't know. If it wasn't raining, I'd probably... Yeah, no, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> I was going to say, if it wasn't raining, I'd probably attempt to walk to H-E-B, but I was like, yeah, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> I would probably get, like, halfway, and my legs would give out on me, and then I'd be like, budge, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> but alrighty, I'm going to relax and just veg, because that's the kind of day it is can't do nothing 
Oh, <laughs> I just got a text message and I thought it was from him. I was like, speaking up. That was from Facebook notification. But yeah, I'm just going to lay here, watch some YouTube, and veg until I hear from him. So, I will talk to y'all in a little bit. But I found out why I hadn't heard from Justin all day. Come to find out, he was sick. <laughs> well, he is sick. Um, I think it's a chest cold or something. <coughs> <coughs> I hope he did not get me sick. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, I felt bad because he felt bad that he didn't take me to the grocery store like he was going to today. But I was like, it's okay, you were sick. <laughs> I just told him, I was like, because we had a little argument yesterday. I was like, I just figured that you were still mad at me and didn't want to talk to me. And he's like, no. Well, I'm still upset, but no. I was like, it's okay. So, he mustered up the energy, which I didn't want him to. I told him I was just going to like eat some popcorn and go to bed. But he took me to H-E-B right down the street. And I got a couple of things. And I don't know if I'm going to let him. But he was talking about when he gets off work in the morning, taking me to Angleton to go to the Dollar Tree so I can get some snacks and then go to go to Kroger to do some actual grocery shopping. <coughs> we were at H-E-B and you walk in, you go through the fruit and vet, like the vegetables and stuff and then the dairy is right there. Well, and the juices and stuff. He was looking at the orange juice. I was like, well, what about that one? Because it has the vitamin D and calcium. He's like, no, I'm looking for the low acid. And I'm like, I looked at him. He's like, for you. So you don't get sick. I was like, oh, that's so sweet. So he got me uh, some Minute Maid low acid orange juice. Because I can't drink the regular stuff because of the acid reflux. And um, he got some steaks for dinner. Which I would have done, but he insisted, so I was like, okay. <laughs> and we came back, he was able to eat, which he needed to. And he was like, you're going to drink some of that before I go to work. I was like, okay. So I went and I got one of my glasses, it's like that tall. Well, hold on, there we go. It's like about, no, it is about that tall. I filled it up and I'm standing like right here looking at him while he's sitting in the chair and I'm drinking it. I'm like, and I get done. I was like, okay, do I have to drink anymore? Or is that good? He's like, no, that's good. I was like, awesome. <laughs> but I feel so bad. He has to pull a graveyard. He tried to call, but apparently they're having homecoming over the school that's by him. So they're going to be slammed tonight. And I feel so bad for him. <sighs> I really do. I feel so bad. But I'm going to go to bed because my head's starting to hurt. And what in the world is crawling on me? I don't know if I want to know. Oh, I hate this apartment so much. We've put combats or bait traps or whatever you want to call them all around my house. Because, okay, I, this apartment complex is really bad with bugs. I saw maybe one or two in the entire time I lived here. Until my roof caved in. And now, they won't go away. I mean, I've tried everything. And this morning... Well, this afternoon, I went to the I went to go to the use the restroom, and I get done. I'm washing my hands, and I, something tells me to look to my tub. There's a huge water bug on the floor. Like it looks like he's dying. I think he got into the bait traps, and it, he's like fidgeting, not really moving. So I get a box, scoop him up, and I flush him down the toilet. So my question would be, I I'm allergic to all pesticides. Except for baits, traps, combats, or gels. Other than those, what can I do to get rid of them? I'm tired. I'm sick of them. They're disgusting. Um, 
when you're asthmatic, you don't need it. But the only problem is I can't bomb my house because I have no real window in my bedroom. I have like a two foot, well not even that, like a foot and a half hole where they just put and taped a plexiglass up there for my window. And they're coming from up here. Up here in the ceiling. Because the tiles, it's not a real root or ceiling. And they're coming from up there. So I don't know what to do. If y'all have any recommendations, please leave a comment. <coughs> because it's disgusting. It really is. <clears throat> it's not sanitary. It's harmful for someone with asthma. It's harmful for your health. I mean, I just, I don't know what to do. I mean, I have, like, 16 baits throughout my entire house, so. But, okay. Please, if y'all know, leave it in the comments. I would appreciate that. But, I'm gonna go lay down because my head is starting to hurt. So, I will talk to y'all later. Bye.